Christy Turlington is American fashion model, best known as a face of the cosmetics company Maybelline and the Calvin Klein Fashion House. Turlington appeared on more than 500 magazine covers and walked the runways for the world's top fashion houses, including Chanel and Valentino. Turlington was raised in Danville, California, near Oakland. Her father was a commercial airline pilot and her mother worked as a flight attendant. While horseback riding in Miami, Turlington was spotted by a photographer, who sent pictures he took of her to a local modeling agency, which agreed to represent her. She began modeling at age 14, and two years later she was signed for representation by Ford Models, one of the world's largest modeling agencies. At age 18 she moved to New York City to pursue a professional modeling career. She appeared in the English pop-rock band Duran Duran music video Notorious, 1986, and on the cover of the German edition of the leading fashion magazine Vogue, January 1987, gaining international recognition. At age 20, Turlington signed a record-setting seven-figure contract as the new face of Calvin Klein, 1989-2007, and was subsequently featured with fellow models, Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Linda Evangelista, and Tatiana Patitz, on the cover of British Vogue in January 1990. The grouping of several top models attracted significant attention, and they were chosen to again appear together in pop singer George Michael's Freedom. 90 music video, Gianni Versace, then a top fashion designer, in turn hired Turlington, Campbell, Crawford, and Evangelista to simultaneously walk the runway to the video at his 1991 couture show, which elicited a standing ovation from the audience. The event is believed by many industry professionals to have marked the official debut of the, a top fashion model, who appears simultaneously on the covers of the world's leading fashion magazines, and is globally recognized by first name only. Turlington signed a contract as the new face of Maybelline in 1992. The following year, the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art christened her the face of the 20th century, creating a line of mannequins in her likeness. As the supermodel phenomenon began to rise, Turlington was at the forefront of a small group of models, known in the industry as the Supers, who became worldwide celebrities, increasingly dominating both the high fashion runways and the global media. American singer RuPaul captured the phenomenon in the 1993 hit song aptly titled Supermodel, which mentioned the year's top models, including Turlington, Campbell, Crawford, Evangelista, Claudia Schiffer, and Nikki Taylor by first name only. Turlington, Campbell, and Evangelista were regularly booked as a trio for some of the most prized assignments and were soon known in their own right as the Holy Trinity. Turlington co-partnered in 1995-97 with Campbell, L. McPherson, and Schiffer to promote the heavily hyped restaurant chain Fashion Café. She also appeared in the fashion documentaries Unzipped, 1995, and Catwalk, 1996. The late 1990s marked the end of the supermodel era. Turlington earned dual bachelor's degrees in Eastern philosophy and comparative religion from New York University in 1999, founded her own company, Turley Incorporated, and launched a string of products and services that included yoga, inspired clothing and day spas. Turlington authored Living Yoga, creating a life practice in 2002. She married the Hollywood actor, director, 
and producer Ed Burns in 2003. Turlington was featured in the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art exhibition, The Model as Muse, Embodying Fashion, 2009, which showcased the models, who epitomized fashion during the 20th century. Turlington was also a noted activist. In 2010 she launched Turley Pictures, LLC, and founded Every Mother Counts, an organization dedicated to improving maternal health and reducing maternal mortality. Christy Turlington made her directorial debut with the maternal health documentary No Woman, No Cry in 2010. She also directed the short film Every Mile, Every Mother, 2014, in which members of Every Mother Counts competed in a lengthy overnight race. The documentary was meant to highlight the fact that many pregnant women are far from maternity care. It only takes 15 to 20 days work a year for Christy Turlington to maintain her title as the world's best-loved supermodel, one she's held for nearly 30 years. With fashion's ongoing appetite for older faces, the ravishing 55-year-old is still the industry's paragon of beauty. But modeling is just a side project for Christy, also known as Christy Turlington Burns. She devotes her other 345 days to realizing the United Nations commitment to improving maternal health through her charity, Every Mother Counts. Based in New York since her days in the notorious Ford Models townhouse, Christy loves Twitter and has been known to post 15 tweets in a day. Christy estimates she still reserves 15 to 20 days a year for modeling. If the dates work and it's not embarrassing, I do it. She especially enjoys working with the photographers Inez van Longsverder and Vinud Matadin, with whom she's had a long relationship. I love collaborating with them. They get me. They never put me in a situation where I feel exploited or uncomfortable. With the demands of her kids and her cause, does Christy still have a place in her heart for clothes? Actually, I wasn't that into fashion, ever, but I understand that it can be a big form of expression for people. Told that Claudia Schiffer reportedly has an aircraft hangar full of clothes, Christy says she has just a few things from the old days in storage, and is today a very modest shopper. I appreciate the beautiful things I got to wear, but it's hard to justify the expense. The economy is crashing, and clothes are getting more expensive. Some fashion is art, but I'm not buying huge pieces of art either. When she needs something for a rare red carpet event, where people expect Christy to look like Christy, she says she runs down to the Stella McCartney store, and she admits she gets a kick out of her daughter's reaction. Now, if I put on lipstick, she goes, ooh. So I guess I still appreciate the power of fashion through her eyes. The part of the job she says she liked best, and still enjoys, was working with a favorite photographer, Richard Avedon, Stephen Meisel, Bruce Weber. It was freaky but normal. I like the 9 to 5 of it all, the structured nature of being in the studio with a team. The shoots felt more intimate. A pleasant day in the office, we used to call it. Lucky enough to work with the best photographers of the period, she remains enormously proud of her work on Calvin Klein's iconic Eternity campaigns, in which she starred from 1988 to 2007. When I look back, I think it stands the test of time. The images are so clean and dreamy. And it's hard to argue with that.